Watercourses such as brooks, rivers and streams are complex systems. They are highly sensitive and the smallest interventions can have a big impact. In this ecosystem, there is a balance between fish and flies. Since fish eat mayflies, stoneflies, caddisflies or their larvae, they keep a check on the fly population and thereby preserve the plants on which the flies feed. The fish themselves are an optimal food source for the bear. If we remove the brown trout from the brook, this will first of all harm the bear as he will lose his main food source. In addition, the lack of trout leads to an increase in certain aquatic insects. Since insects primarily graze on aquatic plants, the plant population decreases and algae can increase, leading to less oxygen and more toxins. This has negative consequences for other fish species. We can see that the absence of one species endangers the whole system. Imagine a game of dominoes. In the middle, we topple a domino. The falling domino tips over the next domino. The chain reaction works in all directions and cannot be stopped. Systems behave similarly, as one change leads to many other changes. But isn't it possible to stop the chain reaction, for example, by replacing the brown trout with another species, such as the rainbow trout? Yes, this is possible, but we cannot regain the original stability of the system. In this case, the rainbow trout has different food priorities, which leads to changes in the food chain. A new species composition can have a domino effect by changing many biological, chemical and physical processes in the river and its surroundings. Nature, however, constantly has to deal with changes, such as large floods or storms. Ecosystems are successful when they are not rigid, but can adapt dynamically to changes. When we speak of balance or stability in nature, we are always talking about such a dynamic balance. Dynamic systems can adapt to changes or form new systems over time. However, we often do not give ecosystems this time. In addition, our interventions bring them to tipping points at which ecosystems can no longer adapt dynamically because the change is too great or too fast. For example, a body of water can pass a tipping point and organisms will die off whole scale if algae growth is too strong due to over-fertilisation.